Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The side panel in the Google Chrome web browser, like what I hate it, as many of you know, is where you can access your reading list and your bookmarks from the side panel in the browser. Now, another feature you may know of, and I have posted on previously, is found in the history section, which is called Journeys. Now, your Chrome history is listed by day, date, and time. Now, Journeys, as you may know, takes this one step further and basically groups your browsing history and activity based on keywords or other related data in one place. So this is quite handy. As an example, if you want to refer back to a certain topic or subject that you have been uh, browsing and researching, and all that data will be located in one place if you have turned on journeys in Google Chrome. Now, Google has made two flags available in Google Chrome, which are basically going to unify um, the site panel by adding your reading list, your bookmarks, and journeys now to the site panel in the browser. Now, these flags are made available in both the stable version and the preview versions, but one of the flags does not work uh, in the stable version. So I'm going to demonstrate and show you how to do this using uh, Chrome Canary, which as many of you know, is a preview version of the browser. Now, to enable the two flags we need, just head to the Omnibox and enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, you just have to type in site panel. If you just enter site panel, that's enough to bring up the relevant two flags that we are going to need. And the first is site panel journeys, which by the way is the flag that won't work in the stable version. It says enables journeys within the site panel, change that from default to enabled. And then the second flag is unified site panel, revamp the site panel experience. Change that from default to enabled. Relaunch Chrome Canary to apply those two flags. And now if we head back to the site panel, you can see it looks different and we have a, a drop down menu and the default option is reading list. Then we can go to bookmarks. And then as mentioned, it now adds journeys to the site panel as we can see. And then we have a three dotted menu, which says open all in new tab group which is going to take all of those sites and open them all up in one convenient tab group. But at this stage, if I click on it, nothing happens. And this is early days as it is an experimental flag. So this could be something that Google will work on in the future. And then you can remove all from history as we can see. So we now have our reading list, bookmarks and journeys using those two flags that will unify the whole experience by adding all three of those now to the site panel. And because, um, these flags are available in the stable version, although one of them doesn't work yet. Um, it is a good indication that this could be something Google will work on and could roll out to a future version and stable version of the Google Chrome web browser. But if I get any more information, I will post accordingly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.